So I'm just about to start mixing up my Starbucks coffee greens in my mortar tray along with the shredded cardboard and food scraps. So this is what it looks like. It smells great. It's pretty fresh. And they've also included some wet paper towels and also some coffee filters, which will be great for the worms. So the next step was to add a five gallon pail of shredded cardboard and shredded newsprint. I've done both. Um, it works quite well for the worms. Next I add about one gallon of water and mix it all in thoroughly. So this is what the cardboard looks like when it's mixed with the coffee greens. And my next step is to add the vegetable scraps that are thawed out. And I've also um, included some pieces of egg carton. The final step is to add the thawed out vegetable scraps and I'm just about to mix these in. So these have been sitting in the pail for a while waiting to uh, thaw out and get to room temperature. So the pre-compost is pretty well ready. I've mixed in all the vegetable scraps and I'm going to let it sit overnight and let it absorb more moisture with the cardboard. And then tomorrow I'll do the two drop squeeze test to see how many drops of water come out. So this still feels rather damp so that's why I'm going to let it sit overnight. So I'll check back tomorrow. Your final step is to cover your bin with cardboard and bricks or rocks to make sure your cats don't get into it. So that's pretty important. So this pre-compost has sat overnight and it has hopefully absorbed excess moisture. And I'm going to do the two drop squeeze test with a handful just to demonstrate for those of you who are not familiar with this method. You take a handful and squeeze it hard and look to see if you can get at least two drops of moisture from it. So I've done this in different parts of the bin and I definitely got more than two drops in some areas. So this means that there's a need to add um, more uh, carbon. So I'll be adding more micro shredded, shredded cardboard. Thank you.